is your host Sapnil Bharatiya and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk and today we have with us Dua Man, founder and CEO of Multano. Dua, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, if I'm not wrong, Multano came out of GitLab. It's almost been an year now. It's an open source ELT extract load and transform platform. But a lot of you know things have changed as you are announcing a new version. And we also have some news about the seed funding round. But before we get into all those details, I would love to hear from you. Just tell us quickly, what is Multano all about today? Uh, great question. So as you described, Meltano started being focused on extract load and transform, but specifically compared to other tools in this space, we bring software development best practices such as version control, code review, and end-to-end -end testing to your data pipeline work so that you can deploy your pipelines with more confidence and collaborate on them more effectively. And beyond ELT, as you said, we have the 2.0 release coming up next week uh, on June 8th. We are bringing these qualities to every aspect of the data lifecycle beyond ELT with by adding support for um, data validation and quality with great expectations and a uh, superset for analysis with Meltano allowing you to bring these tools as well as Singer and DBT for ELT together in one place and allowing you to treat your data platform like a software project instead of simply a bunch of standalone tools living in their own uh, little worlds. Excellent. Uh, you you answer a lot of questions there, but I'll just go a bit uh, deeper into uh, Meltano. And if you look at today's you know, cloud native, cloud centric world, what role is Meltano playing there? Yeah, so um, today when you set up a data platform for your organization, um, you end up picking a data warehouse. Snowflake is a really popular option. You end up picking maybe a couple of SaaS solutions for various steps in the lifecycle, like extract and load. And then you might self-manage something like Airflow for workflow orchestration. And that means that you end up with a stack of tools that is pretty disparate, different tools, different user interfaces. You need to manually make sure that they're all uh, sort of in agreement when it comes to configuration. And with Meltano, we allow teams to take control of this complexity and this fragility by giving you all of these advantages that software development teams have used to uh, collaboratively and um, rapidly, iteratively build better products that they and their organizations can rely on. And within this world where there's a tool to do everything, uh, Meltano allows these different tools to come together and be better than the sum of their parts. Excellent. Now, let's, you did touch upon you know, uh, version 2.0, but I would like to know if you touch upon you know, how it goes beyond the initial goal. Uh, just, just talk a little bit about, you know, um, going a bit in detail, detail about the new features, functionalities, and how it actually improves, you know, uh, not only, uh, I would say, experience for data teams, but also makes them more productive. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, up to this point, as we've mentioned, we've been focused mostly on bringing these software development best practices to the first step in the data lifecycle, extract, load, and transform. And we have shown that by bringing in existing open source tools and technologies like Singer and DBT, um, you can allow people to build something more than they could without the framework that Maldano provides. So with 2.0, we are bringing these same data ops operating system qualities to capabilities in the data lifecycle beyond ENL, like quality and analysis, thereby allowing people to go from having nothing to having a full modern data stack up and running on their local machine in a matter of hours, not days, and building it in such a way that you can verify the impact of all of your changes um, locally without risking putting your production environment um, into a broken state. And it's Meltano 2.0, which specifically adds support for Superset, one of these analysis tools, and that generally starts shaping Meltano and the hub of com supported components and plugins to be more of a place to discover best-in-class data sources and data tools than just a place to find connectors for sources and destinations um, from our ELT history. The Meltano Hub is now a place to discover any data tool that can be run on top of Meltano and be fit into your data platform uh, in a consistent way with consistent configuration, installation, deployment, et cetera. 
to make it easier than ever for teams to go from nothing to having a modern data stack that they are actually confident deploying into production. Can you also talk about what kind of adoption you're seeing? Uh, and if you can, without naming any, or if you can name it, it's up to you, use cases where it's been used. Yeah, so um, we have a Slack community right now, which is where our community comes together to help each other and to talk about the future of both Meltano itself and the data space, which counts more than 2,500 people um, across uh, more than 1,000 different organizations with companies such as Zapier, Remote.com, uh, Netlify, GitLab, and many others represented in this group. Um, and the use cases are mostly medium-sized organizations today that are using Meltano to build their data platform uh, more just with higher confidence in the result of their work, really. And uh, in some cases also to only run EL pipelines with data sources that are not supported by some of the bigger SaaS data transformation and integration tools uh, like Fivetran. With Meltano and its library of more than 300 different Singer connectors, the number of sources and destinations that you can connect or build your own connector for is essentially limitless uh, compared to some of these other solutions. One more thing is, which is interesting is that, you know, of course, it emerged from uh, GitLab, but, you know, um, what kind of relationship you also have with GitHub because you, uh, as you're growing, you're kind of, uh, moving a bit towards GitLab, uh, GitHub as well. Uh, so uh, what is the reason, what is the driver behind that and how do you see, look at it? Yeah, great question. So Meltano, the project was founded inside GitLab, uh, which builds a competing product to GitHub, um, also for allowing software development teams to collaborate more effectively. So since Meltano came from there, our open source projects had always been hosted on GitLab.com, which is where um, GitLab built all of their stuff. But now that we are trying to uh, reach a larger audience and, and lower the contribution uh, barrier, it is more important for us to be on GitHub where all of these other data communities are and, and where a lot of open source developers already have their accounts than to be on GitLab, which has a lot of really amazing functionality we've gotten used to, but doesn't quite have that network effect that GitHub does. So uh, to keep growing the community and to allow more effective collaboration with some of these other open source data product communities, um, we are moving to GitHub with the announcement of the 2.0 release. Perfect. Now, one more thing uh, which we now to talk about is the additional 8.2 million in seed loan funding. Uh, talk a bit about, you know, first of all, who are the investors behind Multano? Uh, second would be that what is the total, you know, funding that you have raised so far? And third would be that what are the areas where you're looking for growth? Yeah, so um, last year we spun out of GitLab, we raised funding from GV, formerly known as Google Ventures, um, who along with a number of angel investors put in $4.2 million based on our vision to bring software development best practices to ELMT. Uh, and then this year, very recently, we raised an additional $8.2 million from Venrock and another number of angel investors uh, around this data ops operating system vision of bringing software development best practices to the entire data lifecycle and all of these different components that make up the data platform. So in total, we have raised $12.4 million so far, uh, and this money allows us to build out this vision and also set up a managed hosting offering in the second half of this year for all of those teams that are comfortable building their data platform with a Git repository and a command line interface, but that do not want to be themselves responsible for deploying this into production and managing that production deployment. It's these customers or users today that will be um, served by our managed hosting offering, which also allows us to start focusing on the commercialization beyond just the open source product. But we are an open core business, meaning that the open source technology is really crucial to our success. And so is the community. Uh, and we are excited to be able to serve a larger audience by lowering the barrier to uh, actually taking Miltano into the production. You know, thanks for uh, sharing that. Now, if I ask you, you know, that you folks are relatively new, actually, when you look at cloud native world, or cloud native world, <laughs> every technology companies are like relatively new. Uh, but what is your long term goal? What is your long term vision? Or you know, what are the things that are in your like either roadmap or pipeline? Or when you look at the future, that you're like, hey, this is where, which is our ultimate goal. Yeah, so uh, the mission that we have set for ourselves is to enable everyone to realize the full potential of their data. Um, and we think that 
we are building towards this mission with our vision of Meltano becoming the ideal, uh, the foundation for every team's ideal data stack. Since a lot of companies have different needs, the components that make up their data stack will look different as well. But all of these organizations have a need for something that brings them together and allows their teams to collaborate on this different combination of components in a consistent uh, and reliable and, and stable way. And that's where Meltano comes in. So in the short term, we have proven out this vision with end-to-end -end support all the way from Singer and DBT for ELT to um, Superset for BI. But we will continue to add support in Meltano for additional capabilities of the data platform, including data cataloging tools, observability, metrics layers, in order for Meltano to become the first ingredient to any modern data stack essentially. Uh, and over the long term, anything we think will allow more and more different types of organizations to make the most of their data is in scope for us to build. And that starts with really great open core technology for building data platforms out of components and this managed solution that will allow uh, organizations to deploy this without that additional headache and for larger enterprises to connect this to all of their uh, existing infrastructure like single sign-on, et, et cetera. Um, and to be clear, you know, the, everyone is in our mission to allow everyone to realize the full potential of their data very much because of this community focus we have where it's incredibly important to us that most of the value of Meltano can be gotten from the free open core product. And we are extremely happy to see people in all kinds of different markets and regions in the world benefiting from this high quality data tooling that previously would not have been available to um, a lot of the world and a lot of the regions that we see uh, a lot of our successful and enthusiastic users. Duvo, thank you so much for taking time out today and of thank course you. talk about the new release, of course, the seed funding round, also share, you know, the kind of broader vision that where you folks are heading. Thanks for those insights and I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.